all right what's up so i wasn't gonna start filming until maybe later tonight i'm just really fired up and excited so i figured <laughs> i'd talk to you guys now this is my last week in placid for now so team trials are this weekend and i'm have i have one run with kaylee set up potentially another run and i'm doing a race off uh or a push off today for it and i just got a speed suit I'm just like really sinking in that like, all right, like we're going for it. I mean, we got like a little taste of it doing some pushes for time at the push track, but now this is, you know, for real going down the ice. I'm really excited, really, really happy to have this opportunity and just to go for it. Also nerves have set in. Um, we don't race till the heat start at three. So, so I was able to eat breakfast, just some oatmeal, protein shake. Um, and then as the nerve set in more, I, I mean, I kind of figured I wouldn't have much of an appetite for lunch. So my lunch was uh, trifecta walnut loaf and tortilla chips. So that's just what I can get down right now that sits well with my stomach. I know I'm not gonna like feel it later when I'm warming up and into the race. So that's what we're gonna stick with. And then later tonight, I'll, I'm sure I'll be very hungry and I'll have a bigger meal, but for now, yeah. So I just wanted to update you guys. I'll let you guys know how it goes. I think I've seen on TikTok. Sorry, I know I said I was going, but I just opened it up. How cool is this? Oh my God. This is sick. All right, okay, just had to let you know. See you later. All right, so I tried it on, really pumped. I also need to, it's gonna be a tight fit because I gotta wear my burn vest underneath that, but it'll be good. Um, so while I'm backing up, I wanted to show you guys everything that I'm bringing to the track. This is a little bit more than normal, but kind pretty much the same. But today I'm bringing two bags because Kaylee was telling me, which makes a lot of sense, because I'm not racing or not sliding in my sliding suit that's a lot warmer in the speed suit. So I'm gonna wanna send a jacket and pants down to the finish so that when I'm done, I can throw those on so I don't get too cold. So that's all the things I'm bringing. It kinda looks like I'm going on a trip. Okay, so in this bag, this is gonna be the bag that I'm sending down to the finish. I've got, I don't wanna take it out, but I've got snow pants and a big winter jacket. It's actually Connor's old jacket, so thank you, Connor. Glad it, secretly glad it, or not so secretly glad that it doesn't fit you anymore. And then I've got this bag <laughs> without taking all of this out again. Let's see, so obviously helmet, my helmet bag. I've got gloves, I'm gonna use these to warm up in. This is just like a neck warmer thing. Gloves for racing, extra gloves, I don't know, just in case. Ear warmer, in case I don't wanna wear a hat while I'm warming up. Long socks, I have short socks in here. Two pairs of shorts, I'm gonna wear one of these under my slide, or racing suit, so I have that. Um, I have my ice bikes, other shoes to warm up in, and I'll probably wear boots to the track. Gatorade, I'm gonna pack a Monster and another Gatorade. And then here I have my mouth guard. I need to find a case for this. I know it's kinda gross. I have bars, uh, RX bars. I highly doubt I will be eating this, but I just like to have snacks available when possible. Some noon tablets. That's pretty much it. Oh yeah. So then my burn vest in here, cotton shirt to wear. I don't know if we'll be able to fit the cotton shirt underneath, but I'll try. So and this doesn't include, yeah, the stuff I'm going to wear there, which I'll wear my sliding suit or yes, sliding suit there, hat, jacket, all that stuff, so yeah, I think I'm ready to go. Okay, so I'm coming back one more time. Other stuff I'm gonna bring my headphones, which keep my ears nice and warm, so that's nice, dual purpose. And then my voodoo floss, lacrosse ball, mobility ball, some bands for glute activation. Now, that'll be it. I'll see you guys later. All right, so we're back a day later. So I didn't film yesterday, slid yesterday. So I did not win the race off. Yeah, so it was a bummer, but the thing is I learned from it. And I mean, that's really all I can ask for right now. 
that and just getting more experience, more reps down the track. Obviously, I would have loved to have win, but just getting more opportunities, more race experience um, is just going to make me better. So I am thankful for that. Yeah, learn some things, going to adjust and um, be ready to go uh, on Friday, which is when, so team trials, I think I might've said this earlier in the video, are gonna be on Thursday and Friday. So I race Friday. So today I'm resting, might do a little bit of light lifting tomorrow just to kind of prep myself for Friday. And then Friday I've got one race with Kaylee. Yeah, gonna leave it all out there. I'm really excited. I feel good. Um, body feels good, mind feels good. I don't know if you can tell, but I did my hair and makeup today. Very exciting. Uh, so we have headshots that we're going to out to the track to do, and it is quite, let me check, 18 degrees. I'm going to get ready for that. I'm gonna eat some lunch. I'm gonna dress very, very warm. Kaylee was nice enough to lend me some Under Armour stuff to wear for the headshots, uh, so that'll be good. And, oh, it was funny. So speaking of headshots, I was looking up some of my um, old swimming headshots for like our bios on the roster. And I don't know about you guys, but I feel like those have never turned out well. I'm hoping that these turn out a little better. I found my Notre Dame one and my senior year one from Cal. I had bangs. They also were not straight. I remember they were getting super long. We were about to have our photos taken for the roster and I wanted my bangs in the picture. I really should have just clipped them back, but I was adamant about having the bangs in the picture. And so I decided to get my hair cut at like a random place near campus. They ended up being crooked, unfortunately. So um, I hope you guys enjoy the headshots. <laughs> um, yeah, so hopefully the one today is a little better. Well, I'm going to go grab some lunch and then I'll chat with you guys in a little bit. All right, so I just oh, just grabbed lunch and so we got chicken, <laughs> potatoes, and some string beans or green beans, whatever you want to call them. Um, and now I'm going to go ahead and weigh it on my new macro stack scale. So usually what I do is I'll just break off the top, put it all on there, and then put it back, and then eat it. All right, so it is now time to get ready for the headshots. So I don't think we're gonna be in our speed suits, but we might, but it's very cold. So I showed you guys this earlier. I wanna test Connor's editing abilities right now, so, or I'm just gonna look really stupid doing this, but go here. And then, ta da! <laughs> I don't know if that worked. Hopefully it did. But this is it. This is, says USA here and there. It's definitely giving me like racing, swim racing suit vibes, except it goes on a lot quicker. <laughs> All right, so wear this snow pants. Sweater, small snow jacket, big snow jacket, hat, gloves, all of it. All right, so before I head out, I think I forgot to show you guys these in when I was showing all the things I was bringing to the track. I feel like I'm learning every day what other things I need to add to my bobsled bag, but I don't think I should these. So these are micro spikes. I've heard them be called ice walkers as well, which I feel like sounds kind of like a, like Harry Potter or like Game of Thrones type. Thing. So anyways, they are these. So you put these on to your boots, your shoes, whatever. As we're moving sleds onto the ice, that way you don't slip and fall. So these are very important. They were a very good investment. I've already used them a lot. So yes, definitely essential when going to the track. But yeah, I think that's going to be it. I did get a message today asking if I could do a like little tutorial on how I cut my t-shirts well, for the gym, like how I crop them and cut the sleeves off and stuff. And I can definitely do that in an upcoming video. Um, let me know if you guys would like that or if there's anything else you would like me to add in the future. Um, I also thank you guys so much for all the questions you guys submitted earlier this week or last week. And I'm really excited to dedicate a full on video to all those questions. You guys had a lot of bobsledding questions, which was really cool. So I'm really excited to, yeah, answer those. 
I think that's gonna be it for this video. It's funny, every time I, or the last few weeks, I've sent Connor footage and I feel like I'm not filming all that much um, just cause scheduling, like with everything, it's just been crazy. And so when I send it to him, I'm like, oh, this week's gonna be really short. And then he'll be editing and like halfway through, he's like, Colleen and Marty, like, it's already a 10 minute vlog and I still have a bunch of footage left. I'm like, oh. Oops. <laughs> but again, like seriously, thank you guys so much for the continued support. I really, really appreciate it. And I'm I'm really excited to, to race on Friday. Still very like, and I think that's like one of the things that Kaylee and I talked about in our conversation after the push off was, you know, the competitor in me and that like wants to just, you know, figure it all right now. It's going to take time. And you know, you just have to put thing, things into perspective sometimes. And again, just taking every day one at a time. And just, I mean, it's still just crazy that I'm even here and I like, God really does have a plan and it's, I just never in a million years would have thought I would be here right now and, but there's really no other place I'd rather be. Ready to cap off this trip, this experience with a really great finish on Friday. Yeah, I'll keep you guys posted on, I don't know what my life schedule, all that stuff is gonna look like afterwards. So what's gonna happen is we will do team trials will be done Friday and then the team will get announced Friday night. I believe, and then we'll kind of go from there. Oh, and I also appreciate all of the encouraging messages I got for my class, kind of to shift gears a little bit. I also signed up for my next class for the data analytics degree, and it starts on my birthday, and I'm not sure that's the birthday present I wanted, but it's okay. And it's, the next class is Advanced Excel, so, uh, I hope you guys are looking forward to me maybe complaining a little bit about <laughs> Excel in the future or ranting about it. And then I actually just signed up for my last class for my master's through Michigan State, which is crazy. I cannot believe that's almost done. So I guess I have, um, I have a capstone class to finish it off and then the way the degree worked out when I originally started the degree the capstone was worth three credits now it's only worth two so I actually have to take a one credit elective which will actually be really interesting I don't know what electives um, are available especially remotely so we will see I will keep you posted that's gonna be it and yeah I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you guys in the next one